We want our we break our patients down, and then we don't and feed then, them. And then they got to they have to they got to build. So, so you're what looking do we at do a, we call what it. What do we, we call do for our patients atrophy. before surgery? Atrophy. Right? What do we tell yeah, our patients before surgery? What do we tell them? Don't eat. NPO. Don't eat. Don't eat. Before don't surgery. eat. Hip fractures. Yeah. Don't eat. Right. Oh, maybe I'll get to you tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe I won't. Two days later. Don't eat. Yeah. Don't eat. Thirty percent more. I felt great after I had your carb loading um, the day of surgery because I or the, I took it four hours like at midnight something like that and it was my surgery was even in the morning but I had I just I didn't feel depleted I was like so, ready and I didn't feel hungry so the, so I was the reason good. for the carbohydrate I felt fine so that yeah the reason for the carbohydrate is um, your liver has about one hundred fifty grams of glycogen in its storage after an overnight fast you you deplete a quite a bit of it by the time you hit the operating room even if you're the first case you essentially lost a lot of the glycogen that's in th that your storage you're going to ketones pretty soon and that's just if, that's just if you were just hanging out yeah except you go into orthopedic surgery then you get hit with surgery so then your body has this hyper catabolic stress response and your body needs glucose and your body says okay well where am i going to get glucose from if your if your liver is out it starts breaking down its only source. I want to show what that. Was, how many studies have you published on um, nutrition? Well, we've done, you know, last year we wrote the uh, the Academy review on it. And then we have a few. That, that's that's the big one I've been really trying that's to like, a big one. like show people that they can read this one to just understand. They can read that's that. the one that helped me. Yeah. You know, and then what, I'll what year you, was that published? 23? That was 24. 24. Yeah, that was We're very recent. recent. Yeah. All this very stuff recent. has been all, so recent. If, I mean, even, even if you look at this one right here, this was really interesting. This was not only is poor nutrition a risk factor for getting an infection? It's also a risk factor for your failure of the treatment. So whether you're doing a urinary retention, if it's acute, or you in a first stage or a second stage, if you have poor nutritional status, your chances of a successful surgical treatment is higher. 